This is a short summary of how one particular technique, the courting technique, developed throughout the duration of the Duane Chin 52-week crash course. Like many songs in this course, the song I just played is indicative of the lack of connection and feeling I have to uh, most of the songs in this course. I have no desire to play this song again, but like many songs, it provides a good opportunity to practice the techniques that are taught in this course. And this song enabled me to practice every variation of the courting technique that Duane covered throughout the course. So originally it started in the course, uh, one of the books introduced early on a broken chord. So if we'll say in the three, four time, we'll just use the C major chord, it would look something like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. And Duane early on in the course introduced the stride or swing method to make it sound a little bigger, a little fuller. So he'd go, have, actually have us go to the root. One, two, three, one, two, three. And I remember early on how difficult it was to make that jump and hit it all the time. Somewhere along the course, he also introduced alternating between the root and maybe the fifth. And in this instance, it would be the G for the C major chord. So it'd be root, two, three, fifth, two, three. And then somewhere along the course, he developed, uh, he encouraged us to use upward inversions uh, to make it sound a little bit better as well. So rather than hitting the two, three, we would hit the first inversion, two, second inversion, three. So root, two, three, fifth, two, three. And of course, this is done with every all chords, not just the C major chord. Then somewhere along the line, he introduced, and I don't remember what lesson this was in, but it was what he called rolling the tenth. And, it, and I actually never really learned it until this song because I didn't feel like spending the time to do it as I was focusing more on the right hand stuff. But uh, for the C major chord, rolling the tenth simply is hitting the root, the fifth, and the tenth. And the reason he calls it rolling the tenth is because it all happens on the first beat. One, two, three, one, two, three. And I remember early on, I couldn't do that. I tried it when he first introduced it, but it just... I just didn't have the patience to kind of do it a couple hundred times or whatever it took to, to make it feel rhythmic and smooth because I wanted to practice more of the right hand. So what I did early on, I think I think in some songs, I even I just tripletized it. So, I, so rather than rolling it, I would go one and a two and a three and a... But you see, it doesn't have the same uh, giddy up type feel. One, two, three. So that's rolling of the tenth. And after a while of practicing in this song, uh, I feel like I can do it comfortably now with some rhythm and it feels natural to do it now. It took a little practice though. And then the last thing I think I recall him developing is the utilization of, uh, what do they call it? Swing notes. So rather than just going to the root, you always go to something first. So it'd be one, two, three, and one. So that swing note. And this song, in every single chord, has swing notes. And you, sometimes even more than one. We'll hit a couple notes for the swing note, in unison usually. So, for example, if it's, um, if it's E minor in this song, fifth. If it's uh, G7, we might go. If it's B7. I forgot what other chords are in there. Oh, E, E7. So those were the swing notes. So this song enabled me to incorporate every variation of the chording method that Duane introduced throughout the course. And I wanted to make sure that I could at least do them all fairly comfortably because all these techniques, I mean, are, provide the foundation of the course, not just the chording method, but all the techniques that he taught. So I'm glad this song provided um, a playground, as it were, to hone in these techniques, while also creating uh, an opportunity to, to work on them along with some of the more difficult techniques for me that were taught with the right hand. There's a number of chord runs in the right hand in this song. There's straddles that Delane taught as well at the end of the song. Um, there's harmonizing of the melody and so on. 
So this song, as much as I don't really care for it, it actually uh, was a good way to practice these techniques and make sure that I can do them before I finish the course. Well, thank you for watching, and God bless.